next is i have as in the command i have initialized it and while i am explaining i told you that git add is the first step in the ppt you remember the first thing is you do a git add this is where you are going to tell what are all the files i needed to be added for the commit okay so let's do that the first thing is so there are multiple option like you can give a individual file name git add readme.md so it will only add this file or i can do a git add dot that means all the files new files inside the directory will be added for the uh, committing committing into the uh, uh, staged repository okay so you can either give the list of files here or you can use the dot which will basically add all the new files into it so let me give the git add dot you see that it's showing a warning because while installing the git what we told like when downloading convert it to into windows format and while uploading convert it into linux format right that's what the option we have chosen and we have created the file in the windows so it is in the windows format so that is what its warning is getting displayed so line feed is the option for windows crlf is the option for the linux so that's what we're doing so the readme.md is added and next is i want to commit this changes to my staging area that is i told you like uh, the staging area is the dot git directory so let me do it the command is git commit hyphen m so for every commit it is mandatory and the best practice to give a commit message okay so if i want to give a commit message i will use the option hyphen m hyphen m inside quotes you can provide your commit message let's say uh, first commit so this file will be committed to the local repository there is a staging area that is nothing but my dot git directory you can see now additional things are added in the folders the objects you can see these files for every commit id i told right it will take a hash and that hash will be my commit id and you can see the similar output there 2df okay so this is my this is my commit id 2df 2dfc okay. so this is stored in the blob format you can see the other things here this will be my tree and all those things so these content will not be visible like it is algorithm based so it is not actually visible they are blob files okay and adding to that you can see the logs right what is the head now you can see it is having the 2df is mentioned at that and it was committed by the trainer and his mail id is trainer at the rate of training.com and this is the commit message this is the git logs command okay you can see the other heads okay and if you see that it is pointing to a branch called master let's see the logs file you can see here i don't see it in the refs master yeah in the refs i see it is pointing to a master branch but uh, recently github has changed the default branches main branch that's what they have given a command so basically instead of pushing it to the master branch i need to change it to the main branch so this command will create a branch called mail on my main on my local and the code will be pushed there so let's see that so git you can see currently it is master 
I am going to say I want a branch called main to be created and on that main branch I want it to be pushed. So the command is git branch. That means I'm going to say it should be the master main branch, master branch, and I can going to call it as main. Now, over oh here, you can see it is now changed into main. Previously, it was master now changed into main. So the current branch, I'm just changing into main. That's fine. And next is, I need to tell what is my remote repository where I want to push these images, right? push these files, right? So that is called as the origin. In Git, everything will be defined as origin, okay? So I can add a origin because this is a empty repository I have initialized. Okay. So I can do git remote add origin. Okay. Then in the URL, you can copy paste the HTTPS URL or if you want to communicate via SSH, you can use it. But let's use the HTTPS. Let me copy paste the URL. So you can copy paste from your GitHub repo itself. Remote add origin. Uh, it will be like um, your repo. Yes, URL. So fine. So I told you that remote origin is the area where I'm going to configure what is my target centralized repository. I'm going to push things, right? So this command will add a origin, okay, to this endpoint URL. So this is my centralized repo and to that, if I want to list the origin of this particular git directory, so the command is git remote v. So this command will show you what is the endpoint URL this git configuration will try to connect to push and pull. Okay. If you want to edit it, there is a command. I'll, I'll come back to that later. But here you can just see that. So for fetching and pushing, it is having two entry, one to push it and one to pull it. Okay. And the name of the remote is called origin. Okay. So let us try to push our code into the centralized repository because Right now I have committed, the commit is available only on the local copy. I want to push it to the centralized repository. So let's use the command git push hyphen u. Okay. And then origin is the name. Origin is name of the remote. Yeah. Origin is the name. So R I. G A N and then I can create main. So this is going to ask me for the username and password because on the repository I need to log in, right? So this will ask me for the username and password. Let's wait for the login prompt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so there is a new prompt is being asked so this is what i was looking for so if you see that there is a new prompt is being asked and then you can sign in with your browser because i have used grid git credentials managers to log in right this is where it is coming up and it is going to ask me which browser i should use there it is okay. So it should show me a prompt. Ah, yeah. So this prompt is coming up. Let me sign in with the browser. 
and it is going to ask me which browser to choose. Let me use the Chrome. So that it is going to, because when you install, I told that I want to use the grid credentials manager, which should store all those things. So I'm just authorizing the get credentials manager and authorization is successful. Now, if I give come to the prompt, you can close this tab. Now I'm able to log in. Okay. And at the same time, if I go and see refresh this page, I can see the repository is having the readme.md. Okay. 